Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Live and uh, a Home Studio Trainer show. <laughs> I don't go live until tomorrow. All right, so what we're going to take a look at, now this isn't a new feature in uh, Studio 1.7, but I kind of wanted to hit on this because I was helping someone today and I thought it would make a really good video, uh, step recording. For those of you that are using VST instruments like... Um, like impact and um easy drummer and things like that for your drums i thought this would be great to show for somebody who can't sit at the keys or a bunch of pads and uh, actually pound out a rhythm you know to their liking step recording is really nice because it gives you the ability to just choose one pad at a time i have a very good friend of mine who has lost the use of his uh, i believe it's his right arm left arm i think um and of course this is my right arm um and um, this is going to be something that's really going to help him out because he only has use of one hand. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the classroom. And you can see here I've got a song pulled up and ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Impact. Just going to drag it right here. I have a default kit that I like to use. I'm going to arm the track. All right, there we go. So this is the drum kit I'm going to use. Now I can actually close this. Now, usually what you will actually do to record your drum track is see, we got a click track. Four, one, two, three, four. There we go. So we got a, um, we got a click track all set. The usual way that you would try to actually do a drum track is like this. One, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. So that would be, and not a lot of people actually have the dexterity to do that. So I'm going to actually delete that file. I'm going to change the color to orange. Shows up a little bit better here in the editor. All right, so now for step recording, there is the option right here. So if you click on this option, it opens up this whole panel. So now the thing that you don't have to do is you don't have to hit the record button. You're going to use these buttons to determine uh, the rate at which you're going to record these parts. So just to uh, start here, here is uh, the kick and the snare. Now, if I actually open up the uh, step recorder, I'm actually going to go here to quarter notes and I'm going to select that. Once you actually have determined what, um, at what rate you're going to record your part, you're going to create a blank event. So I'm going to go back up here to the arrange view, double click, and there we go. So now it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, excellent. Let's actually open this back up here. All right, so now that we've actually got our step recorder on, we know what rate we're going to do. Let's choose a kick and a snare. Ready? Now, I'm not going to hit record or anything like that. I'm just going to hit the pads on my Atom. You can also do this with a regular keyboard if you know where the, pad, if you know where the sounds are, but we're going to use the Atom here. There we go. So we have it set to loop. So if I go back to the top and I hit play... There we go. Now I want to put in a hi-hat. Now the hi-hat, we can actually do a couple of different types of hi-hats. So if I just go up one and I go to eighth notes and I choose the hi-hat, if I just tap it out, there we go. So now what does that sound like? And we can make it sound a little bit less robotic just by going to the velocity and dragging down every other note. Whoops, wrong one. So I'm actually going to close the browser. There, now we have this. Sounds a little less robotic on the hi-hat. So the other thing that I can do, let's say I want it a little bit quicker. I want something something like that. So I'm just going to use the undo option, and I'm just going to go all the way back. 
There we go. And I'm going to choose the 1 16th option. So now, if I hit the hi-hat, There we go. So now it sounds like this. <laughs> I tried to do a little bit too many dynamics. So let me see if I can fix that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to highlight all the hi-hats. I'm going to bring them all up. There, let's try that. <laughs> a little machine gunny, but we can actually go in and edit that. So, um, I actually don't like that. So I'm just going to go all the way back. And I'm going to stick with the eighth notes. There we go. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring down every other one. Just to give it a little bit of feel. And it's still clocked, so it's not... Great, but you guys get the idea. So let's see what that sounds like. There we go. So now for fills and things like that, uh, the step recorder really isn't, it's not really great for like doing fills. So you can either actually just um, use your mouse to put them in. So let me see if I can find, there we go. There we go. I'm going to actually increase the size so I can see them a little bit better. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So I'm actually going to do the view this way. And then bring this up. There we go. Now I can see everything. So let's see. So let's see what this fill sounds like. Not bad. So, all right, so now I can actually put a crash symbol at the beginning. There we go. Let's go back to the top. And where's my crash? I'm just going to put a note there. Oh, I got to get out of step mode so I can put these in manually. There we go. There it is. And I'm going to put that at the beginning. So I'm having an issue with this. Close that. So let's see if I go to the top. All right. So it um, looks like I've kind of lost my view here. So I'm actually going to unlock this and I'm going to unlock this so that I can get there we go. All right. So. Where'd my crash go? There it is. There we go. I wanted it to, at the beginning. There we go. So it gives you the ability uh, to do things in an automatic way so that you know that you've got the right pacing. It also gives you the ability to create and move your own notes the way you want it to. And you can do it one more way. So I've got this armed. I'm, I've turned off the step recording. So now, so I know where my, I know where my fills are. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually remove these notes here. There we go. There we go. So let's put the crash back. There we go. So, and then you can go into doing it just by hitting the pads. I'm going to hit record. Here we go. There we go. There you go. Perfect. So those are the different ways that you can use the step recorder and then kind of close the step recorder and do things in a manual way. You can either use the...
use the mouse. Let's see if I can get this out here. Uh, you can either use the mouse or you can just as easily uh, take it into regular record mode and do your fills in real time. All right. So I hope that that was helpful. A little bit longer than I planned on going, but I wanted to make sure that you were um, seeing all of the different options to create your drum track. And like I said, uh, my good friend uh, who has use of only one hand, this is going to be invaluable uh, to him to actually do his drum parts. Right now he's trying to work with MIDI loops and things like that, and it's not really functional. He likes to do his own drums. He was really happy when I showed him this. All right, so that's going to do it for me, folks. I hope that you guys cut something out of this, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for checking out this video, and if you want to find more Home Studio Trainer content, it is very, very simple, and all of the links are in this description. So if you actually go to hst-homestudiotrainer.com, there is a new Studio One 7 lineup for all the new videos coming out. You can also go to my usual uh, YouTube channel, where you will find every new release and every video that I have posted out there. You can go to Rumble. If you're a Rumble user, you will find all of my latest videos and a bunch of Studio One Six videos. You can also go to Patreon if you actually want to support me uh, financially. You can see I've got uh, 44 paid members and I've got 93 total members, a bunch of free members in there. There's all sorts of benefits and things that you'll get that you can't get on any of my other channels. If you like the content that that I make on YouTube, but you don't want to subscribe or become Patreon, you can actually go to buy me a coffee and I can go ahead and uh, donate a few bucks to the cost. Really appreciate it. And last but not least, if you're a Facebook user and you want to get some one on one help, you can go to my Facebook page over at HST Home uh, Studio One Support group <laughs> so you can go in there and you can post a question you can get answers pretty quickly there are 5,000 people in there and it's growing slowly but um, most of them are really really helpful so feel free to post a question in there or you can just be at me director uh, directly there as well all right so I hope you guys found that helpful if you made it through this part of the video thank you very much I do appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video